What's up, B2 Capital G here talking Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians in this video and how Konami could have so easily saved this product. They could have made it decent or dare I even say good value for the people who are interested in buying it. I actually just watched a video by Simo and he was talking about why you shouldn't buy Dimensional Guardians because he thought the set was just bad and there really wasn't any investment value and I could not have agreed more. I think that most people have come to this conclusion that this is one of the worst products Konami has given us in years and it's just honestly not that good not for new cards not for investing in not for reprints not honestly for anything this set is trash it is beyond bad it's worse than cyber dark impact and shadow specters because at least those gave us some new interesting archetypes and even some cards that were you know pretty good and stuff like that i don't really see much value at all in dimensional guardians not from an investment standpoint because even the cards that have a decent amount of value right now cards like pendulum fusion i mean yeah that that is kind Kind of like the brand new price of like eleven and a half dollars. You guys know since a lot of these high value cards in this set are probably one of even if that because a lot of them are just mediocre you know in maybe a month they're going to be worth i don't know maybe you know 10 20 percent of the uh the price that they're going for now so i don't even think you can make money off this set i don't think that the new cards are good i don't think that the reprints are good and you know i pretty much have to state the obvious the elephant in the room there were so many missed opportunities with cards that clearly konami could have shoved in here that everybody wanted we were all kind of well i can't say we were all expecting like Fright for Patchwork, but we didn't get it. It would have made sense because obviously uh, Fright for Reborn's in here and uh, Fright for Daredevil's in here. So it would have made a ton of sense to put Patchwork in here. The card makes Fluffles so much better, but hey, we didn't get it, whatever. They could have put the Lunar Light cards in here. They could have put Crimson Fox and Kaleido Chick in here. We didn't get those. They could have put Red Rising Dragon in here. We didn't get that. So there were so many cards that we were expecting to be in Dimensional Guardians. We didn't get it. And then on top of that, they didn't really give us that really huge chase card that's worth a lot of money. Simo was talking about this a lot, and it was a really good point. If you really look at a lot of the products that Konami pushes, when they really want something to be successful, whether it be a structure deck or, you know, a Megatons or maybe something like a reprint set like Gold Series, all they have to do is take like one or two really high value cards and just put it in there, and it kind of guarantees that it's going to be a success. They, they did this all the way back with the original uh, Gold Series. They put Crush Card in it everybody wanted a crush card everybody bought it look at the megatons this year just pot of desires in the megatons alone already guarantees that it's going to be successful they didn't need anything else after that they didn't even need to put net this in there or anything else like that you look at the megatons that we're going to be getting this year all they got to do is put dimensional barrier in there maybe totally awesome some of the dark magician cards it'll basically sell itself you look at the new Dragons of Legends, obviously they put Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon in there. That was a card that at its peak was like $75. And the reason that I don't understand why they didn't take any of these really big cards that they know that people want that have been expensive is because like they have so many of them that I don't think they have any plans with. I mean, they could have just taken cards from High Speed Riders and Wing Raiders, threw them into Dimensional Guardians and kind of called it a day. I know some people would make probably the counter argument that it wouldn't have really made any sense for these cards to be in there. But who honestly gives a flying fuck like who cares does anyone ever complain when a really really good card is in a set where it doesn't make sense like no one complains people are just like oh crap we got a new card if uh Cyframe lord omega happened to be in dimensional guardians would anyone have been like oh this doesn't make any sense i don't want these i'm pretty sure everybody just would have been like holy shit we got an omega reprint finally that would have been really awesome i mean omega's a card that actually would have done really well in this uh dimensional guardians because it's actually not just expensive but it's going to get better Better as we enter obviously link format because Cypher and Lord Omega gets summoned to the extra monster zone then uses effect and it goes to the main monster zone so it's kind of getting a buff and it seems like in the TCG Konami has no interest in limiting this card or at least if they're gonna limit Cypher and Lord Omega now I mean it, it just we just had a ban list so like why didn't you do it so it seems like this card is kind of safe but I said the same thing about Terra Top and look how that turned out so what do I know they could have put the Phantom Knights of Breaksword in here that's another $25 card that a lot of decks that can use rank 3 monsters are still using if you're playing magic specters if you're playing metaphors because um 
even though I don't think that they're playing any more Magic Specters, I think they are playing Bio Baboon right now, or they're playing the Predaplane Engine. Obviously, that gives them the rank three plays right there. Still a really good card that's kind of expensive. They could have put High Speed Roy Chambara in there. That's like an $18 card. They could have put um, the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. That would have been really good because, I mean, obviously, they didn't put Red Rising Dragon in there, which kind of sucks. They could have took in a couple of other cards from Ring Raiders, like the Raid Raptor stuff. Again, the Raid Raptor stuff wouldn't have made sense, but when the fuck are we going to get these cards reprinted? Force Tricks is a $16 card that most Raid Raptor players play two to three of. Most, I would imagine most people run like three copies of Force Tricks. It's like a $16 card. You could have just shoehorned this stuff into the pack. You could have made them rares or super rares, replaced the crappy ones that you put in there, and everybody kind of would have been happy. People would have been like, man, look how many, you know, 20 or look how many $15 plus cards are in this pack. You know, one, two, three, four, five, and it just would have given your pack way more value I, I feel like konami kind of fucked dimensional guardians in two ways number one you took out a lot of cards or you didn't include cards that people wanted there is no patchwork there's no red rising dragon there's no kaleido chick there's no crimson fox when are we going to get those cards and then number two you didn't give us any high value cards there's no card that was like 50 dollars or 40 35 dollars that is now getting reprinted i don't think that you just need one of those if you want somebody to buy an entire booster pack like shouldn't you give them a couple of them even if you look at the major booster sets uh like the, the dark illusion or invasion vengeance invasion vengeance wasn't that great of a set but it had dimensional barrier and it had totally awesome so fuck it people wanted to go out and buy it I don't know. I don't like this set at all. And I think it was a very easy fix for Konami to make this a good product, a product that actually could have had some value. They could have taken cards from Wing Raiders. They could have taken cards from High Speed Riders. There are more than enough of them that are like $10 cards. They could have shoved them in here. It wouldn't have made sense, but no one would have complained and you would have had a much better product. So you guys let me know what you think because I think it's one of the worst products they've given us in a very long time. Anyways, I'm rambling at this point. Thank you guys for watching as always. Whatever you thought, leave it in the comment section below and subscribe if you have not already.